you yeah, know, Robbie, Robbie grabbed me for a coffee and, and we, we sort of mulled over the idea. And then I spent the weekend, obviously, um, you know, just deciding whether or not um, it was the right thing uh, for me and uh, the plans that I'd already put in place. Yeah, I, I think that was probably the, the, the period of just readjusting uh, the perspective that I was taking into to each game. You know, it's going for a little bit longer. But having said that, it's, as I said, it's only a two and a half, three month extra bit of time put onto the, the playing career. So it, it's not too big an adjustment. And it's one that, um, you know, I've gotten much better at doing over the last couple of years. Oh, look, the, the, the people involved have been, you know, tremendously supportive. So, uh, you know, the opportunity to, to play for your country, um, you know, they were, they, were, they were more than happy to, to help out there. So that was, that was great from a, you know, in, in terms of uh, commercial perspective going forward with, with my work after rugby. Um, and I'll, uh, I'll see my kids on Sunday and that'll be the hardest chat, I think. So uh, I haven't seen them for a couple of weeks. So I'll, they were sort of counting down the days. I think they, they thought there was four games left to go. There might be 11 now. So I'll have that chat with them and hopefully they, they go easy on their old man. <laughs> We've got a fairly young group, so... Um, you know, if there's any experience that I can impart on those guys and it's going to help the Wallabies moving forward, then that's great. You know, I think uh, being involved in the Wallabies is, is, is something that's short-lived and the Wallabies outlive any any single individual in, in, the, in the game. And if I can leave the Wallabies in the best possible state when I leave, then that's, that's a job that I, that I see very important.